What's your impression of, of the dispensary program? I mean, that's kind of a model for retail, right? It, absolutely. I, mean, it, I, I think it, I, that's why I said I think we're at a different jumping off place than Washington. Yeah. We have really, um, you know, while it's still fresh and pretty new uh, related to what's going on at the dispensaries, um, I do think we've built, you know, we've built somewhat of a backbone related to um, some regulatory frameworks that we can, uh, and constructs that we can, we can look at this. Um, you know, but really the taxing piece is a different piece. Um, really keeping with the precepts of the Cole Memorandum um, are going to be a little bit different and a little bit different construct related to the, um, to the, you know, what the feds want related to the recreational side of marijuana. In looking at uh, how this has played out in Colorado and Washington, uh, what are the takeaways? I think the takeaways are, I mean, I mean, the takeaways are pretty obvious kinds of things. You know, the, the labeling and packaging thing is, a, is going to be a huge issue for us. Um, you know, we're already hearing a lot about that. You know, I think the communication issues are going to be huge for us. Um, you know, with we're going to learn from, yeah, public, uh -huh, yeah, with the general public and trying to get that message out there. Um, we put up... Uh, I think Christy gave you marijuana.oregon.gov. We'd encourage Oregonians to go to marijuana.oregon.gov so they can learn about the latest things that are happening. Okay. They can sign up to receive emails um, at that site. Uh, they can find the links to sign up for emails so they can continually get the information either on a proactive basis by signing up for the email or on, a, you know, on their own to be able to go to that site and find out what's going to go on, what hearings are going to go on, what proposed rules are going to be presented, all those kinds of things. I think we've got to get on this early. You know, we want to follow the wishes of Oregonians, and Oregon has spoken on this measure. And so, you know, we're here to, we're here to carry out the policy of the, of the state and carry out the mandates that are presented to us. Um, and we've got to work with all sides. You know, but our number one priority, just like in alcohol, is really to protect the public safety of Oregon and what's going on. That's the only reason you put regulations into effect is, is to protect. And so, you know, there's a concern on that. And, you know, then in addition, we're collecting the tax. It's really going to be, you know, some tough questions. You know, Washington had a prescriptive number of licenses. Oregon, do you think we will? Oregon can you, doesn't. Can you do that? Can you impose limits I, on how I, many licenses? I would say arguably under the measure, we, we probably could. But we're going to hear from Oregonians. And how, how do you do those? And do we want to be, you know, drawing circles? And there's a, there's a whole a whole host of uh, things that we've got to hear about before we decide those things. So that's why I think we keep it open.